and no ethanol, no, no. No ethanol for miles, thank you very much. Hey, Mike with your motorcycle, and I'm back in the shop because it's the beginning of November, and that means, sadly, my riding season is coming to an abrupt close. Getting into winter mode, there's some winterization projects underway, and the first one up is the mighty 71 Honda Trail 90, better known as Patina. The, the biggest challenge is to keep condensation off the bike, because if you're going to be in cold storage, um, when the air warms up and the block here, the engine is still cold, it will condensate and that causes rust. The other risk is mice. Mice like to get in and chew on the wiring. So how do you keep the mice and condensation at bay so that in springtime you have a perfectly good Honda Trail 90 to ride? Well, in the past what I did was I used one of those um, car covers, a car Car Capsule, it's a company, Car Capsule. They have one for motorcycles. I could get like two bikes, maybe three, like, like a full-size motorcycle and a couple mopeds. But when that capsule was in storage, the mice ate the capsule from being in storage. It wasn't even being used. It was like they, they made a house in it and chewed it all up. Well, I tried taping it and it worked one year like that and it still leaked. It's just, you know, whatever. Uh, you remember the scene from Apollo 13 where they dump all the stuff on the table? Try to figure out how to fit a square peg in a round hole? That's kind of what we're into here. Because I still have the fan. This is the fan unit from the car capsule. So what if I use the fan and a tarp, a giant tarp, and a dryer vent, yeah, and another flange. This has got an end on it. I'm going to get rid of the door in here. It shouldn't be too hard. Look at it already. Wow, let's see. And then this has got, I'll take one side of this off so this flange can go flat onto here, right? And then, ah, the screw holes even line up. The, the screw holes line up, the corners. <laughs> Sweet. So that'll work. I can flange right onto here with my dryer vent, but I'll make like the tarp like up the wall and then down the floor. And we'll put the bikes in there, whatever bikes we can fit, all the way. The idea is to put paracord around and make like a big Santa sack. Basically, it'll it'll positive ventilate, and that's what keeps the corrosion away. The whole base of the tarp, the perimeter of it, and anyway, that just keeps critters from they can't get into the bikes. But this is my idea, and uh, I'm gonna build it. The holes line up perfectly. That's awesome. Powerful. So I'm gonna put some legs on it. Yeah. So. That's cool, I got the flange on. Now I have the other holes on the back side that I can put some legs on. All right, so we got our legs on. So I'll put the, the tube on here. Just zip tie it on. Oh, it clicked. Oh yeah. Is it a click out of her? Oh yeah, tight. This will be on the floor in the tarp, all the way out the top, and the tarp will come up. Hello. Let's get the, the rest of the stuff in the building, get it laid out, and see if I can get the top wrapped up with the paracord like I said I would and, and see how it turns out, so. Okay, we're back. We're in the barn. <clears throat> I've got the new tarp. Anyway, let's see how, this, see how this goes. All we can do is try. It's a huge tarp. I have like two motorcycles, not a motor, like a motorhome. I've made a mistake. I've made a big mistake. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I got so far. I think now is as good a time as any to put the fan in. I kind of want it in the middle, I guess. 
One little detail, we forgot a battery. So we'll go get the battery. The strings are already run now, so just like, right? Tie it up and then plug it in, see what happens. <laughs> That's it. We'll have to fast forward to springtime and open it all up and see how everything did, but comfortable that there's no corrosion. There's not gonna be any. So that's the main thing is you don't wanna rust your rig, right? So some of our little prized possessions, cozy in bed for the winter here in Michigan. Now we just wait for spring, it's project season. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe if you like the video and we'll see you next time, bye.